This is Sheila, pediatric nurse practitioner here with the orthopedic department at Brenner Children's Hospital. Would like to discuss with you today how to take care of your child's spica cast. So spica cast is a specialized type of cast that we use to help immobilize the hip with certain types of conditions such as developmental hip dysplasia, femur fractures, and a variety of surgeries. Your child surgeon will prepare you for what type of cast you can expect for your child, but you may come across a variety of these online, including certain ones that, in, that incorporate both legs, one leg, or a bar that separates each leg. The most important part of these casts is to make sure that they last the anticipated period of time to be on. And that's in part because it is a very technical cast to put on that often requires sedation with an anesthesiologist in the operating room. And because of that, we want to reduce any unnecessary trips to the OR for your child for replacement. The number one thing that you can do to help maintain this cast and ensure that it lasts the designated period of time is to make sure that no urine or stool enters the cast through what we refer to as double diapering. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about double diapering and looking at your child's skin. I do have a, a little model here. So we will give you some hands-on instruction while you're in the hospital uh, with this, but you're gonna start with typically a diaper that's just a size smaller than what your child uh, would normally wear. You can also use things such as sanitary pads depending on the size of your child. The nurses will show you how to position. So sometimes you will roll from side to side. If you need to lift from the bottom, that's okay. Whatever is most comfortable for your child is, is fine. So on this model, I'm gonna start with the back. So you'll see we have a small diaper here. And when you double diaper, the first diaper is gonna go on, but be tucked around each edge of the cast. You want to ensure that the elastic section does not lay over the cast, but instead is tucked in along the edges. And this is a great opportunity at every diaper change to be checking your child's skin. You wanna make sure that there's no redness or irritation from the cast or blistering. You wanna make sure that you can get at least one finger around each edge of the cast and that there aren't any sharp edges that you can feel that could cause any um, irritation to your child's skin. Once everything is tucked in well on the back, you'll then move towards the front and you're gonna do the same exact thing. So you're gonna make sure that elastic is tucked all the way in around the edges and then tuck in at the top near the belly. I do like to point out that if you have a little boy, please make sure everything is pointed down into the diaper and not up uh, towards the belly button, which could cause some intrusion of urine in and around uh, the belly band area. So once this is on um, and everything's tucked in well, you're gonna take a second diaper and put it on like you normally would. So this diaper is gonna go on over the cast, and this is to help ensure that the inner layer of diapering stays positioned just like it's supposed to. So you will see afterwards, this child now has um, the second layer of diapering on, um, and this is to help catch any overflow, and like I said, to prevent them from pulling any of that material out from the bottom. We will ask that you do more frequent diaper changes than normal to help prevent excess soiling in the cast, but despite all these measures, you may find that there's some urine or stool um, that occurs on the edges of the cast. If this happens, you can use a damp, soapy washcloth to help clean the edges. You can also use a hair dryer setting on cool to help dry any damp areas uh, that may occur around the edges of the cast. If you feel like your child has um, soiled the cast or significantly uh, created moisture on the inside, you can check by placing a couple of fingers along the edges. If the cotton on the inside is soggy or squishy um, and uh, noticeably wet, or if the outside of the cast, which is typically firm and hard, suddenly has a lot of give to it, then that would be a reason to call our clinic right away um, for some recommendations and possibly a, an evaluation in the clinic.
We do ask please do not use any powders or creams in the diaper area or down into the cast. These can cake um, and become dry and hard areas that result in skin breakdown and infections underneath the cast. So please, nothing goes into the cast whatsoever. And this includes powders, creams, and anything to itch with if your child is a little bit older. So no pens, pencil sticks, erasers, or clothes hangers. If it's itching, you can use, again, that hair dryer on cool cell setting to blow some cool air through the cast. You can ice through the cast with a thin towel and an ice pack on top. Um, and you can also use some Benadryl um, if that is uh, significant. So we talked about making sure with each diaper change that you are checking the skin. The other thing that we're going to teach you along the edges of this cast while you're in the hospital is a process known as petaling. So this utilizes moleskin that you can find at any pharmacy, CVS, Walgreens, um, your local shoe store and is used to help take any rough areas of the cast and create a soft barrier. So you're gonna cut thin strips and they're gonna layer through each area of the cast, as you can see here. And you can do this on any edge. We always like to do the top and around the diaper area, but you can also do around the ankle, anywhere that you feel like your child may be getting pressure. Your physician will discuss with you whether or not your child is allowed to put any pressure or weight through their cast. So please uh, discuss with them uh, what their recommendations are. We will make sure that your child's car seat is appropriate prior to discharge, and if not, arrange for a safe way to get them home. Couple of other things with taking care of a spica cast. So um, we want to avoid anything that creates large, what we refer to as volume changes. So this could include um, excess swelling or uh, sudden changes in weight. And so please make sure um, that your child is eating their normal, healthy, varied diet. Um, if you notice any swelling, please try to attend to that uh, quickly by elevating the extremity, um, or if they have issues with fluid balances that can cause um, uh, swelling because of, say, things like kidney issues, please reach out to their um, appropriate doctors to help manage that so that that swelling doesn't create any pressure areas in the cast. It can take about 24 hours for this cast to finally settle and find its uh, shape. So again, please check the skin regularly for any pressure points. We wanna make sure um, that the cast is not too tight, uh, both in any area or caused by swelling. So the child should always be able to move their toes, feel you tickling them. Um, their toes should be nice and warm and pink. If they start to look purple or are cold, um, if you pinch the nail of their big toe, um, it should go from white to pink within three seconds, if that's uh, delayed at all or if your child is having increasing pain in the cast um, that is not uh, managed with pain medication or they're inconsolable, those would all be reasons to give us a call right away in clinic. We wanna make sure that you are repositioning them frequently about every two hours to avoid any prolonged pressure areas, particularly along the back. And while at home, you may find that propping them up with certain type of pillows or beanbag chairs will help them uh, stay nice and comfortable. Depending on their age and their size, getting around in wagons uh, is often a great option as well uh, if you wanna get out and take a long walk. Um, we do ask that if you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to give our clinic a call. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. We have a wonderful nursing staff um, who is always available and will give you a call back same business day. We also have a wonderful team of cast technicians who, if there are any concerns with the cast, can help evaluate it and possibly make some changes to make sure that your child stays comfortable. Our telephone number here is 336-716-8094. Thank you.